Okay, I'm going to do a little video. Um, this is of a yellow butterfly uh, with a um, sitting on a bunch of little uh, pinkish purple flowers. Um, I want to do this one to kind of show you how to soften a background, how to do a soft background. Um, first thing I'm going to do is add a little bit of medium to my canvas. I've already got a little drawing on there. You can't hardly see it. Um, and I'm kind of smearing it with my medium here. This is just kind of a, a real quick little video. This one is on an 8x10 canvas, so it's not very big. Uh, once I put that medium on there, I've kind of smeared my smeared my pattern. So I'll just take a, a bunch of that medium off. And I don't really care about that pencil being on there. Grab another paper towel. Alright, let's look at this background. I've got some mixtures, different mixtures of greens. Okay, so I'm just going to take a little bit of this is uh, green cadmium oxide green with a little bit of black to kind of dull it down and a little bit of a lighter green I've mixed some cad yellow with my chrome or cadmium oxide green so I'm just going to get lock my canvas down so it doesn't move. Quick little video. I'm just getting this background with just various shades of greens. Wipe my brush off. I don't want much paint on there. I've already got the medium on there which will help this these colors move on the canvas. There's a little bit of cad ye or, uh, yellow ochre mixed in with that. Okay, now the idea here is to make this background look soft and in the back, uh, kind of blurred in the background there. So, how do we do that? Well, I want to get some color on there first. Now this particular photo has some real pretty little purple and yellow flowers in the background. So the first thing I'm going to do is just kind of get some of those colors in there. I'm using a three-quarter inch uh, flat brush for the for the background just to get color on there. Okay, now I'm going to take a smaller brush because I want a little bit more detail on those flowers. So let me just take a little flower up here. This is a, a cobalt violet. I'm just going to start with kind of a, a dark flower shape back in here, maybe one right in here. And um, I'm also going to add some phthalo red rose to my colors. These are really pretty colors to use for flowers. Maybe a little bit of that back in here. Just to get the idea of flowers, okay? I'm not trying to make these look like pristine little flowers. I'm just getting the idea of the shape of the flowers. Now, I forgot to put, let's put some green back in here. A little bit lighter back in here. These are the flowers that my um, 
butterfly is going to be sitting on. So I want some color, some green. I'll make this a little softer green back in here. A little softer. Quick, quick, quick. People say I paint fast. Well, I kind of do. But for this, it's not really necessary to paint slow because I'm not really trying to make this look like anything in particular back here. I'm just getting a nice soft background behind my butterfly. Alright, then I'm going to go back, pick up my brush that I'm using for my petals. Right in here, let's put a, a petal shape right here. A little bit soft purples. Just get the idea of flowers in here to start. Brighten the purple up with a little bit of that red phthalo pink. So a lot of times we get too fussy with these little details. A little bit here, a little bit lighter. Back in here, these are a little bit brighter. lighter. You see I'm not really trying to make them look like flowers at this point. I'm just getting in the effect, the idea of flowers. I think there's kind of a brighter stem Thing kind of going down through here. At least that's what it looks like. I'm going to add a little bit of the idea of that in there. It doesn't have to be too distinct. We're going to make these flowers kind of soften up. Maybe there's a little bit more of a bluer flower shape there. So once I have a little bit of the color on there, basic color, the idea of them, I wanted to show you how I soften these. Now the idea here is to, the flowers that are here in the foreground are going to be brighter and closer to us, but these flowers that are back here in the background, I really don't need them to be um, showing up as much as they do. So I'm just going to go back with my mop brush back in here and I'm just going to soften this whole area back in here. Soft, soft, soft. Um, very, very light touch here. The mop brush, you, you don't even want to be hardly picking up any paint on the brush. Wipe it out. Go back and soften. Soften, soften, soften. I'm going to soften all around these flowers in the foreground as well. Soften, soften. Okay, now I'm going to go back Add a little bit more brightness to some of these in the background. Get the idea of the 
petals going on a little bit more, right? There's a couple up here that are a little brighter. They have some yellow in them back in here. Go ahead and add that. But you'll see that I'm really not trying to get too perfect on these. I think these up here are a little bit darker, a little bit more blue. So I'm going to take a little bit of ultramarine blue into my cobalt violet just to get a little bit more of a purpley blue up in here. A little bit here, a little bit here, down in here. Now, back with my mop brush because I really don't want these to be just tapping, tapping. See how it softens those colors? And pushes them back. Let's get the butterfly on there and then we'll work on these flowers that are kind of in the forefront, making them a little bit more distinct. We got some down in here a little bit more detail in here. Okay, the butterfly is basically black and yellow. I'm going to start with some ivory black, but I'm going to add a little bit of the cobalt violet to that because I want this to appear to be all one painting. Using my small brush, just going in there, starting off with the black. A little bit. I just want to get this established a little bit here. So that you can kind of see where I'm going with it. I'll, um, I'll go back here in a minute and do the yellow. There's a nice little swallow tail kind of coming out here. That yellow color is really kind of a, kind of a dull yellow. I'm actually going to take a little bit of yellow, uh, cat yellow with a touch of green that's already on my brush. I'm just going to base coat this in simply because Having a little bit of that green in the background, I think will help this butterfly look more see-through, a little lighter, okay? Down in here is a little darker. It's a little darker, so I'm going to use some cad yellow. I've not painted this one before so bear with me as I kind of figure this out as I go. That's how I tend to do it. This uh, body is on the yellow side. So I'm going to start out with yellow ochre down here. And then right up in here is going to be the head, but that's going to add some black to get that in there here in a little bit. And that green goes right up in there. Okay. All right, let's take some more of that greenish yellow right into this part of the wing I'm just 
just do a little underpainting to start it off. This up here is a lot lighter. I think it's a little bit bigger than what I have it drawn to. We'll get the basics in there and start. Okay, here's kind of my underpainting. Now we can add a little detail. I've already got that black on that wing back there. We've got black on the outside of this wing. Just taking the tip of my brush and just kind of swooshing down a little bit of an edge there. Little touches of black. There's a, a little let's go back in with some brighter yellow right up here on the wing tips. Let's do a little bit of that as we go down. That's white with uh, cad yellow, just kind of touching. A little bit more of that in here. I'm not trying for an exact representation of this butterfly. I just want to get the feel of it. My main purpose was to show you how to make that background really kind of sit back a little bit. So I'm going to get little touches of butterfly in here. Nice big beautiful swath right here. I love these. Love these details on these butterflies. Okay, now in between all this beautiful yellow is that little bits of black. So I'm going to go back in with the black now. tip of my brush, I'm using a filbert, soft filbert. It's going to take a little bit of medium on my on the tip and then go back in here and add little touches of those black lines. back here. Alright, now let's go down here and look at this wing down here. This wing has, I'm going to take a little bit of white right on the tip of that edge of that wing right on the main part of the body. Right there. Brighten that up a little bit. Kind of shows where it attaches to the body right in there. And then there's some 
we've got that darker yellow there. There's also some little bit of green, a little bit of greenish swath right underneath it here. Really like that. One of the things you'll find as you're painting is that you'll start learning how to see the colors where maybe we only see a yellow butterfly, but really there's all kinds of colors in this butterfly. There's um, greens and yellows and various shades of yellows actually. This is a kind of a dull yellow. I'm going to add a little bit of, of um, yellow ochre to my um, cad green, cad oxide green mix. Okay, and then I'm going to use that as my as that dull green. I've also used it in the background. So I'll put a little bit of that in there. It's that whole area right in here. It's kind of got that green. A little bit of that up and through here. Then we've got some of that yellow, kind of yellow or brighter yellow. right around the green there's a some little swaths of that color in there then we go back to the green a little bit more of the green in here brighten that yellow up a little bit more or lighten it up Now, there's also some blue. Let's try a little bit of, well, we have to try, I think it's phthalo blue with a little white in it. That's what that little bit of this blue color is in here. And then, of course, we have all that black. We have some black edges, like we did at the top. bit of black right along the back and right along the bottom and then there's also black right along our little bands of blue on either side as you can see I'm not trying to be too detailed I'm not getting in there and I'm not drawing this perfectly I just want to get the basics in there for now simply because that's the kind of painting that it is, right? There's even a little bit of red in through here. That's kind of cool. We'll add that here in a minute. Let's go back up here and make sure we've got a little bit there. Some lines come down a little bit more here. Wipe my brush off and go back in. I'm going to add a little bit of purple into that black. It's going to let me get my black a little darker. I'm 
little bit of cobalt violet in black. It gets that a little darker. Definitely want this to be nice and dark. These swatches to be a little darker. I'll back up one more time over this area right there. And there's some black around here. A little more black. Right in there. I always like to get the basics in there, then I have a tendency to go back and do the fine details. A little subtlety if I need to. Right underneath of here. A little bit of a shadow. I'm also wiping my brush off. Usually every time I go back and get clean, get more paint, I'm wiping my brush off so that I come back with cleaner, cleaner paint on my brush. Right in here, right there along the top of that head, there's black. And the eye is in there, and it's really right in there, and it's a nice big dark eye right there. I'm just going to paint that in, then I'm going to go back with some brighter yellow. Like my brush. Edges of these black, there's a little bit of white, lighter color down here, lighter yellow. Right in there, I see that I need to bring my green background green right up, right up into my tail area right there. So I can always go back, if I don't like the way it's drawn on there, I can always go back and add a little touch of background. Mop right up next to that, kind of pull it in. next to the tail right there. I want that to be a lighter green. So I'm going to go back with my lighter green. It's going to help that stand out a little bit more. Right there, right there. Got some nice lighter greens down in here. to be careful not to get onto my swallowtail, but if I do, if I do, I can always go back with my dark colors and restate right there. There's some 
fine lines that are kind of vein lines back in here. Just go in with a little, little subtle strokes. And then right along, there's kind of like ridges in between these areas right here. That are just a little bit brighter colors. I'm going to go back in with a little bit of a lighter color. darker in between. Gonna make those stand down a little bit more, right? Right along the top. Brighter right in through here. getting a little bit of highlight on those kind of vein areas. I'm not, like I said, I'm not trying to get too detailed. Now there is some red, it's kind of cool, little red markings right in here. Right there's one, like right there's one. There's a couple of places right in here. Little red marks. I'm gonna add those. Looking at my colors again. These little dull, dull green areas right here, a little darker maybe. Taking my brush and just kind of touching that color up a little darker. Bringing it up on those little ridge marks a little bit too. I think it kind of just makes it look, oh, and right in there is supposed to be a little greener, a little darker than I think I have it right in there. Right up here, this area is a little lighter. in that wing.
darken these little black areas just a little bit more. And I think that blue that I put in there could be just a little brighter. Gosh, I love that red. I wish there was more red in there. Underside of the body right here, a little darker. white or lighter color right there makes it stand out. Now I'm noticing that my body is not showing up against my background. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here with a darker green. You have to have contrast. You have to have dark against light, light against dark for the things to show up. So I'm just going to go in there and add a little more dark behind the body right there. I can look at the other areas to see if I need that color. I want that be nice and faded right there. A little dark right in here. Bring this dark down just a little bit more. Some darks down in here. Thinking about what this might be back in here, it's probably other flowers, leaves, things that are out of focus, right? So I'm just kind of thinking about what they might be. Add a little bit of that back in here and here. There's a little line of black I noticed right along the back of the V right there. Just the tip of the of the filbert brush, just the tip. You're not even touching anything but just the tip. Go ahead and let that eye be in there. Then I've got these little beautiful little antenna that kind of stick up right up here. I'm gonna Put the tip of my brush in my medium and then take it over to my black and right on the tip I've got plenty of paint on there but I'm going to start with just the tip right there right there's that little thing right there and then it kind of comes down and swirls down and meets the eye right there and then one right there And if I can do this just as light as I possibly can, I think this one needs to be a little bit bigger. Let's start it right up here a little bit more. See, it's kind of it's kind of too large, right? So let's do this. Let's take a paper towel clean paper towel and let's just blot that right there. So I'm going to show you how to fix this. If you don't like it, you could fix it. Go back in with whatever color is behind it, right? 
blot it, blot, 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 and then take it out. Now right there, I want that to be a little lighter so that those little antenna are going to show up. So I'm going to lighten right there, a little bit of lighter green. Right? Go back with my brush again, tip just in that black, try to get it just as tiny as I can, dot. That's better, dot. You can use a liner brush for that as well. There are legs. There's a little leg that kind of comes down and attaches to this flower right there. And there's a couple of little legs that kind of come out this way. I'm going to start them, but I'm going to finish these flowers that are out here in the front next. One more cleanup right there. That line's a little was a little too thick. I just took a little bit darker yellow. Add it, our yellow ochre right there. Clean the edge of that wing up right there. I want that to be a little lighter still on this body. A little thicker paint. Okay, let's work on these little flowers that are in the front here real quick. I'm going to take some white, light pink, very, very light pink. Give myself some petals. Light pinks, light purples. I'm going to let this brush do the work for me. The, the shapes of petals. Using a little bit of my phthalo red I never can remember the name of this paint. Phthalo Red Rose. I love this color. I use it a lot in flowers. I can never remember the name of it. Phthalo Red Rose. Beautiful color. I'm going to take a little bit of that, a little bit of my cobalt violet, and a lot of white because I want this to be a soft purple color. Let's give myself some petal shapes. I'm not being too fussy.
the um, main thing about these little flowers is that they've got these little, they're kind of connected with these little stems in here. Add my stems. I've added some petal shapes, so I'm going to add some stems and then I'll put some more petal shapes on those stems to kind of make it all make sense. to take a little bit of medium into my cad yellow and white. I'm going to use a liner brush for this. Get some medium on my brush. Dip it in that yellow and white. A lot of white in my yellow, cad yellow. And I can get a little bit of, well, let's add a little bit of maybe a touch of orange to start. Tiny bit. These little flowers have these little yellow. dots on them. I never can think of the technical term of things when I'm painting. So for me it's just they've got these little yellow dots on them. Alright, and then so I added a little orangey dot and then I'm going to go back with a brighter yellow dot on top. being too fussy with them. Just a few in there. A little bit of bright uh, yellow right in there. A little bit of bright yellow down in here. brighter white highlights. To kind of give my petals a little more shape. A little thicker paint. Just kind of fiddling with my background a little bit here. Just tapping that background 
this background flowers. I want the color there, but I don't want it to be so bright. So I'm just tapping it to make it stay back there. Now, final highlights on my butterfly. Certain areas that I know I want to stand out more. Paint is quite thick right here. Darken my darks. Always have to go back and darken my darks. I never get my darks dark enough on the first go round. I think we're just afraid sometimes of making things too dark that we think should be light. It's just kind of the brain playing tricks on this. saying, no, that's not black, that's gray, or no, that's not really that dark of a color, but really it is, because we have to have that contrast for things to show up. If we don't have the contrast, it's just not going to work. This wing, I think I didn't, my original drawing just didn't get it quite big enough. We can go back in here and re-emphasize all of these darks. Darken our greens, brighten our yellows.
But I think that gives you the idea. And the main thing, I, like I said, I wanted to kind of emphasize was this background and how to get that to look distant and soft. You can always go back and add more color if you need to. To really keep it out of focus, you just go in there with your mop and you really just soften it. Final detail I just noticed these legs right here have a little bit brighter highlight on them to kind of make them look like oops. When you push too hard with your The tip of your brush, they, your your lines end up getting too thick. So be careful. There. There's a little bit of a line right there for that back leg, right there. Get a highlight on that eye right there. All right, I think I'm just going to call that one finished for now. I'll let it sit a while and look at it. It was a fun little painting. Hope you try it.